Hi everyone, I'm George Jones and I'm a PhD student at Sheffield Island University as well as being the founder and director of youlearnbly.com. I just wanted to share a quick video with you that's going to be talking about the importance of practice design, something that's really important for us to understand when we're working with athletes and in my domain, particularly footballers, where it's an invasion sport, so players are making decisions based on time, space and number variations. But the same rules apply, you know, as humans, we interact with our environment. So if we're drawing from Gibson's work, uh, a fantastic psychologist and the founder of ecological psychology, where we talk about perception, action, coupling. So we have to perceive in order to act, and we have to act in order to perceive. So we're taking on board information constantly through our interactions with the environment. So if we look at that from a practical perspective, when we're designing practices, for athletes, how can we create an environment where they're going to become better at looking for information, searching for information from the environment in order to create their own adaptable solution? Often, a lot of coaches will tend to prescribe a solution. They'll prefer to provide what they believe is high-level detail around this one way, the correct way of throwing a basketball or passing uh, a football or hitting the baseball, whatever it may be, whatever examples we have, uh, they'll often try and break down the mechanics of that skill and prescribe that sort of recipe, that step-by-step -step rule uh, to the, the athlete, to the player. And what we know is that often when there's an over-reliance on explicit information, and, and set of rules. Whenever the athlete, the player is faced with a problem that they've never experienced before, they've never seen before, this is a huge challenge for them. And often that, that explicit information that they relied on before breaks down. And then what will happen is tend to, you will see a lot where players or athletes, I'm using them terms frequently, uh, so I'm applying to loads of different sports coaches listening, but effectively you'll see that that, individual is not sure and uh, often they'll feel anxiety the decision making will break down and they'll look immediately to the bench to the coach for the solution which then continues this cyclical process of that individual becoming dependent upon the solution from the coach and yet as coaches we're always saying we want independent decision makers we want self-learners but yet we don't create the environments where they can actually problem solve themselves. So we're almost creating this dependency. Uh, and, the, and what we know from that as well is that the more dependent they become on that feedback and that information, that solution, they're less likely to become better at exploratory behavior by searching for information from the environment. So when patterns break down and things do change, because they will, certainly in complex environments like hockey, basketball, American football or football, soccer for the uh, the US or anyone else listening. But certainly in those type of environments where we're constantly interacting with changing variables, wow, it's chaos. You know, if you listen to Chelsea's head coach, Tuchel's, he'll talk a lot about how he'll design practices that embrace the chaos, get their players to become better at understanding chaos and effectively becoming more game responsive. So this is a huge question that I pose to you, and that's how can we consider the environment within our practice design and the influence our feedback will have for that environment? So how we're tapping into the perception and the understanding of the player. Scanning is so important. Searching is so important. So we know that every athlete has their own unique movement signature. Every athlete has their own unique movement signature. So what that means is we're all different. Everyone will have a different style in terms of their, their movements, how they strike a ball or how they, how they uh, use their body to protect the ball, how they take free kicks, whatever it may be, how they dribble the ball. The, the body types are going to be different. Everyone is different. Everyone's unique. So to prescribe a, a one way of doing something is straight away flawed. So what we've actually got to do is we've got to get better. It's really difficult, but we've got to get better at embracing a little bit of chaos within our practice design.
creating environments where they've got to figure it out. And that's not to say that we can't give them an answer or a solution, but we must always then try and reinforce that with a question, try and tap into the why. A big part of our coaching philosophy at youlearnbly.com is the four C's, choices, competition, challenges, and clarity. So every practice must have choices, other decisions being made. Does the player, the athlete, understand the consequences of what they're doing and why? Uh, challenge in the sense that we want to try and challenge the individual, whether we're challenging them collectively or individually within the task. Even the simple rules of the practice can be enough to challenge and stretch that individual. Uh, also, we've got to think about the competition. We're motivated by competition in an environment where we're looking for creating fun, enjoyment. So competition is a huge part of what we do, whether it's competing with each other, whether it's competition within the, the rules of the, the task, whether it's how many points you can score, whatever it may be, tapping into that motivation and that fun and that enjoyment, that safe competition, uh, and trying to create an environment where the player, as well as the coach, are co-designers of that competition. So they're constantly looking at ways to improve the practice. And then finally, clarity. The footballer of today, the athlete of today, he wants to know why. He wants to know why. So what's the reason for me and how can uh, this practice or this rule, this challenge or this individual support be specific for me and my learning? Thank you for listening. I'm going to be sharing loads of all these videos. Hope you enjoy it. St keep learning. Stay curious. Thank you.